with it, I can. If I don't, I can just down the ball. But I'm not. I'm going to go with it up the top. Yeah, there we go. Move a little bit. And he's out the race. He's not going to catch up with it. All right, good. So that's what you call a kickoff return, okay? Short for, it's long for KOR. So how about that? You want to talk about coming into a hostile environment and just Kick off. silencing the so, crowd? They just did it. Couldn't so be a better start. There's any no side, so each side gets an opportunity to kick the ball off to the other team to start the possession. So we flipped the coin in the beginning. If you didn't see heads and tails. You guys what? We win. We get three. Oh, get no, three. no, no, no. Heads and tails. All right. So again, again, heads and tails. If I select heads, I get to select if I'm gonna kick off or I'm gonna receive first. Obviously, we didn't see that part because Madden removed. Move that animation, but so the we got the ball. Teams out there as they kicked it to us, and we took it all the way back, which was a touchdown. So he got seven. So my goal now is to stop him from returning it back. Right? That's good. So wherever he stops, that's where the play caught. It's not the play caught, but the uh, field position is at. They're the 22. They're the minus. I'm KC. He's Tennessee. They're at the minus 22 right now, right? So, based off of where he just got um, tackled, it's either going to be left hash, right hash, middle hash, middle right, or uh, middle left. All right, so, right to the right, you see his double, his play, he's in doubles, right? So, um, since he's in doubles, we're going to go base vanilla, meaning that we're going we're gonna to match his, we're going to match his guys on the field. Tannehill All right, so we are red right now. Henry, he'll throw instead, eluding the pressure right. Ooh. The improv on the scramble though gets him six. Look like he's killed over there. All right, so think about this, right? Let's, let's work on one side of the ball first, okay? This is defense where I'm on. I'm on defense. My goal is to stop him from getting a touchdown and a first down, okay? First down yardage is this red line right here, okay? My goal is to stop him from there. So we got to be able to gauge is he going to run or pass based off formation. And our goal is to limit. Yep, he is. So those are those are crossing routes. Crossing routes are designed to get um, defenders turned and also maybe get some rubbing. It's designed to get some rubbing where you get separation. They got rubbing, so I need to get out of man coverage because he's gonna cross again. Here's Tannehill. Yeah, see. I bumped them just a little bit to knock them on the drop. They could have called pass interference, but they didn't. All right, so they're going for it right now. They believe their play call versus our play call. All right, now they can run here. I wouldn't be surprised if they did. All right, they're going short, running back. Ah, that's a good play. So he, he threw the ball down and away, okay? So now since they did that, we're going to switch it up because I feel like they're trying to get rid of They're trying to expose our run game. All right, good. They're going no ho. So I need to get these guys off the field right here. Play action. It's Tannehill. Oh I didn't have it. I didn't even have the right play call. Short oh. throw taken in by a Six All right, they keep going, man. They're going to go. Good, 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 good. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's yeah. going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. Yeah. So you only get this space in between the field. You see the green field? You only get that space to play, okay? So if you go outside of there, you got to bounce, okay? Offensively, you want to use that as your advantage. It's a fifth guy. This one was all about clearing space for this play to work because he's got to leak out of the backfield to his right and then angle his way up the field and a really pretty throw to put yeah, it on him and create the big play downfield. Uh, I feel like they're going to run here. Now a gap, so the front. They'll buy some time right. Well, he's trying to run with his quarterback. And his throw is going to be incomplete. <laughs> All right, so, so we're on defense right now, right? We're what, we're on the point, we're on the plus 25, all right? So we're in positive territory. They're they're here. They're trying to score. If they come out in a pistol like this, they want me to come in a heavy set. Why? 
Because then now they got they got favorable matchups on the outside. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to dare him to run. Okay. I want him to run. Alright, we want them to run. Right, we want them to play within our hands. Okay. So now they saw something, right? They saw something. They're like, well, they're in the nickel. We're in the pistol. We can beat the nickel because we're in the pistol. We got more guys up front. But no, they couldn't. Alright, so now they're in a the deuce, right? This is a gun set. So that means passing line, they should score here because we don't have we don't have the personnel on the field to match up. All right, so we're in third. We're, so right now, third down and goal in three. We're playing run. Why? Three yards, they got Derrick Henry. They're going to try to go possibly ISO here. Or they're going to try to go, um, yeah, they're either going to go ISO or they might go screen. Dual back. They're really getting fancy here. There we go. Stand him up. Good job. All right, they're going to go for it. Okay. So, this is the opportunity right here now. It's fourth down. They got an opportunity to go for it or kick a field goal. Yes, sir. I think in days gone yeah. by, we thought many teams would run the football, but on third down in today's game, I expect them to throw it. Ah, I think this is a bad, uh, this is a bad decision. No, no, no. Nah. The, the, the play I was in just in. Uh, they wouldn't have matched up well against we step aside here in this first quarter. So let me show you something here. This is something I like to run here, but it can I don't really run this in the red zone as much. Because it can be it can it can hurt. But we're gonna see. Flush to his right. Ah shut. Ah now that was I tell you that play right there was one of those plays. Yes, that play right there was one of the plays where we had everybody covered, right? But when when it comes to scramble drills, guys get lost. And AI cannot they can't keep up with those guys. When you scramble, they they tend to sit sometimes. Like the zone guys, they tend to sit in their zone and they don't travel with the receiver. Like if, if it's, you saw he rolled out to the right. Those guys were covering him initially, but as soon as he rode out towards the sideline, it's almost like they forgot about him. <laughs> and that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. All right, so this is the first time you've seen me on offense, okay? So whenever I start an offensive drive, I, I like to run. The reason is I like to see what kind of base um, defense they're in. Are they going to be impressed? Like, they're impressed now. So this tells me if I, if I just uh, change the play, I got one-on-one -on -one outside if those savings don't play over top. You know what I mean? If they do play on the top, that's that's one, two, three, four, six guys that's leaving. And now we've got guys underneath backers on my tight end. So, I mean, it's possible. Outside. All right, so I like that. You know what I like? Yes. Okay, let me show you something. You see this? They have three-man front. Three-man up here, right? 65, 74 is tick 96. Kelsey be by himself. He'll seal the edge off there, and this is going to allow us a little room Here's out there. Yes. No, no, no. The, the other side, if I run opposite, there. that's where all the guys are at. Let me show you something. I'm going to show, show you one more time. I'm going to show you something real quick. Look at this. You see where the X is at? That's where I can run at. You know why? There's no defender there. They're only playing a four-man front, and they're spaced out. So if I pull somebody, he's gonna kick out and I have a lead blocker. So they can't go in that spot. From the 32 no. now, here's first and 10. Well, they can, it depends on how you put your guy. If you put your guys all in the gaps, now the second level here behind the backers is open because your linebackers are not gonna be able to get back that fast. They're not athletes like that. They don't just, they can't just sprint like that. I'm red. Watch this though, okay, so you see him? You know, I'm 15. I'm 15. So I have the ability. So I'm running a run play, right? The, 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 the B gap to the right side is open. So that's where we're going. Watch that. Boom. So that's what you call a gap right there. But he didn't hit it right. Yes, I'm on that. I'm on the whole red team. The whole red team, that's me. Okay? So now we're, we're calling a pass play. Okay? 
Here's a fast play. They're in man. I can tell. Everybody's based aligned. Except for the backside, the corner is not man aligned there, which is kind of weird. So it makes me feel like they might be in some type of zone. Mahomes to throw on second down. Flushed out right. Ooh. Dead eye. Cross body. Only Mahomes on this game can make that throw. So, you know what? When I was telling you they could have been a man. What they, what they did was backside they based it because they were playing a cloud look. Cover six. The corner was down on the flat. And then they rolled the backside six to be a half player. And then they had quarters on the backside back there. That's the reason why it looked like that. That's the reason why he wasn't in the man look. You know, if they were in a true cover four, that um, that corner would have would have been over top or inside of that receiver. So now they're base in line now. They're base in line. They're back into their true alignment. Ah, good job. That was a bad throw for me. I should have threw somewhere else. Ah, uh, that should have been okay. All right, so here we go. Look, look. This is this is um, plenty. okay. We got 32 seconds. Wynn is going to the right. So my my goal would be to get that opposite pile line there, okay? I'm going I'm gonna use the wind to carry the ball. We're gonna go right. Alright, so we're gonna get the power. Um, 19 seconds left. We get the power. So now I angle it there because I wanted to get around the seven yard line, okay? He'll send this up into the Nashville skyline, and it's a good one. Uh, Looking up into the lights and he muffs it. There we go. Good job. That that right there, that is the kick you want every single time. You want to angle it to the sideline. Either he catch it and go out of bounds, or he catch and get one yard, and my guy's covered. So, so that means he went out of bounds. Well, he got the ball. He shouldn't have touched it. If that in real life, he would probably get fired and cursed out when he get back to the bench. Because the ball goes inside the two like that, inside the five, and you touch it. You don't want to do that. Wait, when it touches the ground, it's out. Well, if it touches the ground, it's still a live ball because we're in. That was punt. In punt, you have to down the ball. So it's well, this still offense, Charles, Charles, remember the last time they were out so here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went to the air. So now they're seeing how they can duplicate that performance. Let's say if I kick the ball, I just kick the ball to him. If nobody gets there in time, right, he can get the ball and go. But my goal is to cover the kick. I got to get down there before. He Three gets there. Can two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything. Oh, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's the guy right there. He can be dangerous. He can be very dangerous. Yeah. Well, he, he didn't block it. He dropped it. So if I throw you the ball and you drop it, that's exactly what happened. He was focusing on catching the ball and running. Well, honestly, you like think that, but when you get in the game so and like there's so much going on, you've got a guy that's coming down. after you, and, uh, I mean, he's approaching you fast. I mean, you're either going to think about, am I going to get hit, or you're going to catch the ball. So it's, not, it's not that easy to make that decision. Yeah. Either get hit or make that catch. In that case, he thought about the hit. And he didn't make the catch. To great field position. They needed that throw, that completion, that first down. Meanwhile, look at that. See, in that case, this guy, he's electrifying. He's very fast. Crossing route, right? There was no player in front of him, so he didn't have to think about it. He was just catch and go. You know? Yeah. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after. Uh, he's catch. getting me with these crossing. Alright, I see what he's doing. I see what he's doing. So when I'm in man, when I'm in man. Yeah. When I'm in man, these these safeties, they don't react well to crossing out. So they're gonna stay, they're gonna stay over top of everything. And then when a the ball in the air, they're gonna attack the ball. But they're always going to be late because they're going to be they're going to be in the upfield shoulder as opposed to the ball is going to be in the downfield shoulder. Yeah. So this is our opportunity right now. We got 2:57 left in the uh, second quarter. Good shot. Oh, where my phone at? Let's see a return here from the end zone. 
And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee. Hello? Yard shot of there at the 24. Hey, what's going on? The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula to get them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. On second down, here's Mahomes. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. That one good for 26 and a first down. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Buying time to his left. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. I guess no need to force it, but you can do that instead. Yeah. First That's what you call a scramble. Yard game. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter, 14 to 7. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. So, so listen, I'm the quarterback. I have the ball, okay? So as soon as I hike the ball, all those guys on the defense, they don't want me to score. They don't want me to. Their job is to stop me, okay? So they're coming after me. No, no, no. This is a this is a screenplay. I can't. I could. I could go to that person, but this play is designed specifically for the running back. All right. My uh, screenplay. It's like a. It's a. Uh, it's like a trick play. All right. It's to make the defensive line and the linebackers, whoever's coming up front, to rush. And then the offensive line, you know what they do? They just let them go by. And now the quarterback, once they go by, they're like, oh crap. These guys don't just let us go by for no reason. It must be screened. By the time you think of that, quarterback is releasing the ball to the running back. You know what I mean? And if you got a bunch of guys who's not, who don't pay attention, I mean, you're going to be off to the races. That's why you... That's why you have to be... You have to have guys who are very uh, disciplined. If not... Yeah, there we go. So that was a case of reading the defense. They were in zone. And once my guys cleared the backers, I saw he had an opportunity. Yeah. So now we got 146. Now, it didn't take as much time with the clock. So on my side, it was bad, very bad clock management. But we did tie the game. So our goal now is to hold them. We got three timeouts. Well, two timeouts. We can possibly... If we get an incompletion by those guys, they're going to try to be aggressive. They're not going to just run the ball out. This one tied we get an incompletion. Now, now we can use our timeouts away. and try to get the ball back. And here comes mm -hmm. a return from a few steps into the end zone. Oh, that was a big and he's able to get this across. All right, so now we got to play vanilla. Okay, we cannot blitz. We blitz. They get an opportunity to get down the field one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, that could be a field goal or a touchdown. All right. So our goal is now we want to force him to run the ball because running the ball makes him use more clock. Okay. Tennessee I'm going to specifically line up in something go. where they have to run the ball. They got him. Right. For this offense, Charles, if you remember, they yep. started basically right. in the shadows of their yep. own end zone. Now he's going to throw. Oh, yes. Now that, that, was a, that should have been a complete. Almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. Yeah. So I feel like I feel like I might have switched things up because they're getting they're they're getting some easy stuff right now, and I, I can't afford to give up a first down because of that. Offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. All right, good, good. We didn't have to use any timeouts, and um, we had an opportunity there. So I want to show you something. Okay, there's so many different covers we can do here. They've been killing us when we run man with the crossing routes. If we go back to man right now, which they're going to build in some crossing routes with this third down. That's their money right now. So we, no, no, we got to make sure that if they build them in, we make sure they're covered. Okay. So we can't play man here. When you start seeing tendencies from players, 
uh, you decide not to play certain coverages because uh, that's a good play right there. So because I played zone, the guys didn't travel. They, the meaning they didn't they didn't follow the receivers. That's the reason why he had the ability to cross the entire field. Yeah, he was out across the entire field, and nobody check him. Yep. All right. First Here we go. Tannehill. When that happens, oh, there we go. They're going back to their bread and butter again. All right, 121. We're going to have to play some zone. Yeah, we're going to play some zone. Uh, reason is, they're getting, I'm going to have to force them to read the field right now. Okay. really change. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses. Catch the ball. How much yards can they gain after that? Ah, he should have that. Display there for a good pickup. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were you know what? for the Rams. I think I'm going to bring out some film so you can watch it. Stops. They can I think that would be. Out of that area. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll fake the handoff. Now Tannehill rolling to his right. Short throw taken in by a conqueror. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short. So it'll be third and less than a yard. He was out there waving his arms. And when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. All right. So everyone's I would take a time out here, but I don't want to give them time. He found the right spot for the completion. Woo. 14 inches. Oh, this is tough. 14, 14, 14 inches. Oh, man, they're going for it. Uh, here's here's what people like to do in this situation. Tight. They're, they're going goal line. They're either going to run inside or they're going to run outside. Or they're going to pass. Got to get quarterback. Oh, snap the fullback. I was not looking for fullback. Most guys don't want fullback. Well, these days, NFL, they don't like their own fullback. They don't even like keeping fullbacks on their roster. But um, most players don't use the fullback. Fullback is more of a utility player. But uh, short yardage type of guy, he don't really makes any plays in the passing game. Well, depending on your position, what is based off of what you're going to be doing and how good you are, right? So if you're a big, big guy, you can't run well, you're going to be an offensive lineman, or you're going to be a freaking fullback. Maybe a tight end if you got some hands. Possibly. Well, I mean, if you have a good coach, they will find out what you're good at. No matter if you're not good at much. Yeah. If you're good at throwing, which, if you're going to get thrown, they'll put your quarterback probably. Yeah. So, I'll show you what the quarterback is. Okay, so here's the quarterback. The quarterback is number 17. Oh, he hit me with the RPO. Ooh. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, that I was not looking for RPO here, not with Tannehill. Like, what? And he could have ran it. <laughs> so this is what this is what coaching is all about, right? If you're coaching a game and they run something that you you, you like, you don't plan for RPO against the Tennessee Titans because Tannehill's not going to run that much. Now he will, he can get loose, but he's not going to be running like freaking uh, Trey Lance out there. So you don't plan for RPO. I mean, you say, okay, the RPO, you got quarterback, you got pitch guy or whatever, or you got uh, – oh, Or you got um, – oh, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. You got bubble. So most of the time, you know, it's like a bubble when they do those RPOs. Bubble is when the deeper step back. Like a little bubble wrap for the timeline, or we come back in the side. They have so many different ones. There's so many different types of screens. I'm going to run those up and maybe add different things. Because the random thing is, you know, you're going to have to do a lot of different things. Oh, that's a good 
the, the defense will just key into it. And nobody will ever have a successful and with time offense. Got to keep it fresh. The second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust it's all good. guys in this situation. If they decide that was to bad move. They told me to, um, <laughs> they told me to just run a run play, and I was like, nah, we get out of here. I don't, they don't really have anybody to take the, the top off of defense right now with the Chiefs. Ah, he won't go nowhere. This is, this is getting yards before the half, they get it like. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. All right, so what they've been doing. So uh, the biggest thing that's been big getting get us is the freaking quarterback scramble. <laughs> it's crazy. Tannehill, quarterback scramble, getting loose. You know, he's been beating us with that. So, I think now, this second half, we adjust to those crossing routes, to the quarterback scramble. I think we can limit what they can do on offense. You know? So, this is third quarter, okay? Always look for the quarter, third right here, with five minutes left, okay? This is our play clock. This is for the offense. On defense, you don't care about the play clock. It runs out, it's good for you. You get, you know, they get, they lose yardage. So beginning of possession right now, they might try to take a shot. They're coming out in gun the set. They have Derrick Henry, the so they're probably going to dang run. Now, if they don't run, they're half. trying to go quick games. Good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. Most important ah. partner. And they run to the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. All right, they're going quick. They're going quick. Let's. They saw something. All right, good, good. I, I finally got somebody that's on the quarterback. See, even if he got a few, a few yards, he didn't get a first down. And that's that's what you want. You want your guys to track and trace the quarterback every single time he leaves the pocket. Uh, screen. Yeah, there you go. That's how you cover a screen. You take away the running back. Now, look, look. It's 14-21. They're probably going to punt. They're not punting. See, they're not punting. This tells me they got a play call they feel real strong about, or they're not happy about where this uh, drive is going. All right, so they've been they've been running the they've been running the quarterback for here. So, main high opportunity here, middle of the field. Oh, shut up. That's a good play. I don't know if I agree with that. I guess they don't care if I agree with that. But boy, you have to be surprised by that, right? I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation. But they must have either felt like they either had a great play call on or they're trying to show extreme confidence. Ah, let's go. They got a little greedy there. So since they got greedy, we need to we need to make them take a um we need to take advantage of this right now. Fighting. So right now, this play here is like a fool's play. It's kind of wanted to get them going and then switch. Ah man, he could not get through that hole. Right, that's a big hole. That's my fault. And he got off the end there very All right, so I got something play. else here, okay? It was almost like the bullet train, wasn't yes, it? Sir. I mean, just so imagine, quick, imagine quick, quick, so and what a terrific play, holding them to no game. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll go down here I'll at do the 35-yard line. Do and now it looks like oh they're going to hurry up. I'll do something. Uh, On first and 10, he here's Mahomes. If I win. That's, that's what you call betting. So, here's the thing. If you are a part of the team and stuff, you, it's bad to bet against your team. It's bad to bet against in your league. Actually, honestly, you shouldn't, like, sports betting, if you like a coach or a player, it's kind of, Sean, it's kind of bad to sports bet. And if you lost, imagine you lose, and then you get, you get 
uh, that would be illegal. So players have gotten like uh, banned from league because they've got banned from league and they can't do it again. They can't play the sport again because like Pete Rose, he's a guy who played baseball and he bet it. Yeah, it's like a simple thing. Oh, these guys are gonna win, and they win. He makes money. But it could be he's throwing, you know, he could be throwing a game or whatever that could hurt the integrity of the sport. So that's the reason why they don't let you do that. Yeah, because think about this, right? Let's say you bet a hundred thousand dollars that a team, your team, is going to lose, right? Well, if you're the quarterback, you're one hundred percent able to make sure that happens. Look, as a quarterback, you're one hundred percent able to make sure that happens. So that's the reason why it's bad. They want to protect the integrity of the sport of the third quarter. We still got another quarter. Yeah, we still got one more quarter. Uh, technically, I think it's five-minute quarters, but six-minute quarters. But yes, you're right. After the fourth quarter is over, whoever has the highest points win. Unless we tie, then we're going overtime. No, no, we're we're tied now in the third quarter. Game's not over yet. Far away. No, we're 21-21. Well, we could get one point and we win. Now they're in single back. It looks like they're going to run. I feel like they're going to try to pass out of this. A lot of guys like to pass out of single back because they feel like their guys can beat our guys. You know? All right, so I think they're going to try to pass out of here. They, yeah, I feel like they're going to try to pass out of here. All right, he's rolling out, rolling out. He's got somebody. Give me that. Ah, he didn't put his hands up. Get your hands up. So they've been killing us on crossing routes. So think about this. It's, fourth, it's third down. We want to make – they're going to try to go for it on third down. They've been going for it. Sorry. Yes, third and four right now. So we got to check back first. Uh, okay. We got to see where he came from. There's a drag route back. It, developed. it took a while to develop. All right, one tight end. He still can run. Here's Tannehill. Flush to his right. Oh my gosh. Bro, if you don't get the what? Why take those guys so long to get the ball? Oh my gosh. That what happens when you have a quarterback, they can fumble. And when they fumble, the other team can get the ball. Alright. Uh, so I hit him with a Alright, so 21 21, we got the ball. Now, my goal right now is to take as long as I can to score, okay? With fourth quarter, we want to make sure to take as much clock away from us. No, 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 no. Our goal right now is to move the ball, score, but take as much time off the clock as we can. Oh, Yes. Mahomes now on first down. I mean, it's, here's the thing. It goes without saying. If you know football, you know fourth quarter is the last quarter. So it, it goes without saying. Well, no. Now now you know fourth quarter is the last quarter unless they tie at the end of the game. So now you're an expert. If we tie, we go in, we go in overtime. Oh, crap. You buy Somebody blowing an assignment over there. I feel like they were a man. And they didn't take him. They, they cut him loose. No, no, no. You're not one. Let me tell you. Never, ever think a game is over. You can be up 21-0 and somebody can still come back. It's all about, it's all a game of adjustments. That's all football is, a game of adjustments. You can beat me the first time. 
But the next time I'm coming back, but I'm gonna have I'm gonna have an adjustment. Positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27 yard line. All right, here we go. Oh crap! I need to get out of this. Now they'll look to answer, working from behind, and remember. Right. So I couldn't run that because they were hitting me with. Uh, they were hitting us when we were in those formations. Let's see, let's see, let's see. If I go there, all right. They're in single back. They want to run here, and I want them to run too. At their own 27. On play action, they'll throw. They'll roll him out right. Ah, I catch that Thornhill. That that Thornhill? Who that? Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Just because you got that was major. That was major. He actually safe. took the wrong. Um, the he went to the wrong receiver. That time, I like it. Didn't it work out. Now it's Tannehill. Flushed out right. Toward the sideline, intercepted. I knew it was going there. I think that interception happened for two reasons. All right. Gets outside the pocket and panics. They don't have anybody in the A gap. Uh, so make sure that, he's that absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy no, B gap back side. So don't wave your arms, right? As a receiver. Right, as soon as he gets past there, we got to open it. Boom. Ah, bro, McKinnon. What the freak? Why'd you go? Why'd you go on the left side with the freaking center? Now, the right side. We're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all, all right, the balls. So they're facing out. They're probably in like a cover reviews, six. It looks like that right corner with their it. left corner got a good chance of is minus outside. Game. They're waiting for the flat route. So if he does that, we got the corner route. Mahomes to oh, he backed out. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Good, 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 good. And he gets it down all right, 306. We get this down to about uh, uh, something you gotta be thirty up defensively. I mean, just something. because thirty you know, oh, they're trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they oh, we got fourteen. We got twenty eight. So look, look, this is at the end of the game. We got seventeen seconds. You wanna be smart at the end of the game. Now I'm always gonna play you know the same way um, that'd be the time to do it. I would coach it, so. So they're taking a timeout, right? The so his time, his job is to well, keep as much clock on the time, the time on the clock. I mean, and my job is to make him use his timeout. Yes. Yes. You can't. If you use all your timeouts, then at the end of the game, you won't have the ability to call the timeout to save time for you. Now, right now, I have two timeouts. He has two. Now, if I pass and it comes to incompletion, it's basically a me giving him a free timeout. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to run these next two plays, and guess what? If we don't get a first down, he ain't got no timeouts left. Again, it's Pacheco. Now, he's going to have to protect the football and take now what he might do is the take the clock all the way to the two-minute warning. You know, it'll be smart. You know? But you reserve the third timeout, timeout and let it go to the you know two-minute warning. That's what, some, that's what can happen. However, I got something for that. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This, this is, is the big play. You know why? If we get first down here, game's over. One first down and the game left. is over. Alright, so we can't have no negative play. Because I oh shucks. Now they go screen, it's complete. Had a, we could have, a negative play there would have been a pick or a sack. You don't want that in those situations because then that would negate what you're trying to do. That means you lose automatically. No, you don't lose. You would just, in, in that case, if I had a pick, if I throw on a pick there, now he has an opportunity to go and score. Or he could have took it back for a score. There's two options for Yeah. 
actually fifth quarter. You don't know what fifth quarter is? 